In this video, we're going to talk about how to determine the inverse of a 3 by 3 matrix. So let's say if we have matrix A, and it contains the elements 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, and 0. So go ahead and determine the inverse of matrix A. So first, we need to rewrite this in the form of an augmented matrix with matrix A and the multiplicative identity of a 3 by 3 matrix. So here's matrix A. It's 1, 2, negative 1, and so forth. And the multiplicative identity matrix is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So now here's what we need to do. We need to perform elementary row operations and basically take the left side and make it look like the right side. Now the operations that we apply to the left side, we have to apply to the right side. So the right side is going to change as a result. And whatever the result is on the right side, that is going to be the inverse of matrix A. So let's begin by turning this number into a zero. To do that, let's subtract row 1 by row 3, and let's apply the result to row 3. Now, row 1 is not going to change, so let's rewrite that. Row 2 is also not going to change as well. Now, for row 3, it's going to be 1 minus 1. So that's 0, and then it's 2 minus negative 1, or 2 plus 1, which is 3, and then we're going to have negative 1 minus 0, so that's negative 1, and then 1 minus 0 is 1, 0 minus 0 is 0, and then 0 minus 1 is negative 1. So now what do you think we need to do next? How can we turn this negative 2 into a 0? What row operations do we need to apply to row 2 to do so? So we're going to say 2 times r1 plus r2. Let's do that. So we're changing row 2. Row 1 is going to stay the same. Row 3 will remain the same as well. So 2 times 1 plus negative 2, that's going to be 0. 2 times 2 plus 0, that's going to be 4. 2 times negative 1, which is negative 2 plus 1, that's negative 1. 2 times 1 plus 0 is going to be 2. 2 times 0 plus 1 that's 1. 2 times 0 plus 0 is 0. Now, let's turn that number into a 0. So, we need to apply the row operation to row 3. I'm going to multiply r2 by 3 because 3 times 4 is 12. And then I'm going to subtract it by 4 times r3 because negative 4 times 3 is negative 12. And they'll cancel to 0. So, row 1 it's going to stay the same, and let's rewrite row 2. So we're going to have 3 times 0 minus 4 times 0, which is 0. And then 3 times 4 minus 4 times 3, that's going to be 0 as well. And then 3 times negative 1, which is negative 3, minus 4 times negative 1, so we have negative 3 plus 4, that's going to equal to 1. And then 3 times 2 is 6, minus 4 times 1, so 6 minus 4 is 2. 3 times 1 minus 4 times 0, that's 3. And 3 times 0 minus 4 times negative 1 is 4. Now, what we need to do is turn this number into a 0. So that's going to be straightforward. We just got to add row 1 and row 3 to accomplish that.
So let's rewrite rows 2 and 3. So it's going to be 1 plus 0, which is 1. And then 2 plus 0, that's 2. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And then 1 plus 2 is 3. And then 0 plus 3 is 3. And 0 plus 4 is 4. Now let's focus on that number. What row operations do we need to apply to row 2 in order to make it 0? All we need to do here now is add row 2 and row 3. So notice what's going to happen. So let's rewrite row 1. And let's rewrite row 3. So row 2 plus row 3. 0 plus 0 is 0. And then 4 plus 0 is 4. Negative 1 plus 1, that's going to be 0. And then we have 2 plus 2, which is 4. And 1 plus 3, that's 4. And then 0 plus 4 is also 4. Now, what we need to do at this point, wait, hold on. I didn't copy this correctly. This is supposed to be 1, 2, 0, and 3, 3, 4. So everything else should be fine at this point. This is what I should have right now. So at this point, we need to turn this number into a 0. So we need to apply the operation to row 1. So let's take 2 times r1 and subtract it by r2. So we're going to have 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 0, 4, 0, 4, 4, 4. Now we're going to take 2 times 1 minus 0, so that's going to stay 1, and then 2 times 2 minus 4, that is now 0. 2 times 0 minus 0 is 0. And then 2 times 3, which is 6, minus 4. That's 2. The next one's going to be the same. 2 times 4 is 8, minus 4 is 4. And one thing I do need to fix, 2 times 1 minus 0, that's supposed to be 2. And uh, I have, have a 1 here, so let's fix that. Now, what we need to do is multiply the first row by 1 half, and the second row by 1 over 4. And that should give us what we need. So half of 2 is 1. And half of 4 is 2. 1 fourth of 4 is 1, so all of these will be 1. And then the last one is not going to change. So notice that here we have the multiplicative identity matrix I3, and this side represents the inverse of matrix A 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, to confirm that it's indeed the inverse, what we need to do is multiply matrix A by the inverse of A and show that it's equal to I3. So in other words, we need to take matrix A, which was 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2, 0, 1, 1, negative 1, 0, and multiply it by the inverse of that matrix, which is 1, 1, 2, 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. 
And if this is the matrix of A, if we did it correctly, we should get this answer. 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. So let's find out if we did it correctly. So I'm going to put my answers in here. First, we need to take the first row and multiply it by the first column and add the products. So it's going to be 1 times 1. So we're multiplying these two first. And then it's going to be plus 2 times 1. That's these two. And then plus negative 1 times 2. So 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Negative 1 times 2 is negative 2. These two cancel, and so we get 1. So we have the first entry. Now, let's multiply row 1 by column 2. So it's going to be 1 times 1 plus 2 times 1 plus negative 1 times 3. So this is 1 plus 2 minus 3. 1 plus 2 is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Now let's try row 1 by column 3. So that's 1 times 2 plus 2 times 1 plus negative 1 times 4. So this is 2, 2 minus 4. 2 plus 2 is 4. 4 minus 4 is 0. Now let's move on to row 2. Now let's multiply it by column 1. So it's going to be negative 2 times 1 plus 0 times 1 plus 1 times 2. So this is negative 2 plus 0 plus 2. Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Now let's take row 2 and multiply it by column 2. So it's going to be negative 2 times 1 plus 0 times 1 plus 1 times 3. So that's negative 2 plus 0 plus 3. Negative 2 plus 3 is 1. Now let's multiply row 2 by column 3. So negative 2 times 2 plus 0 times 1 plus 1 times 4. So this is going to be negative 4 plus 0 plus 4, which adds up to 0. Now, row 3 times column 1. Let's try that. So it's going to be 1 times 1 plus negative 1 times 1 plus 0 times 2. So it's 1 minus 1 plus 0 which is going to be 0. Next is going to be row 3 and then column 2. So this takes some time. I mean, it's pretty laborious, but that's how you can confirm it. So it's going to be 1 times 1 plus negative 1 times 1, and then 0 times 3. So this is 1 minus 1 plus 0, which is 0. And finally, the last one. It's going to be row 3 times column 3. So that's going to be 1 times 2 plus negative 1 times 1 plus 0 times 4. So it's 2 minus 1 plus 0. 2 minus 1 is 1. And so we do get the identity matrix. So that tells us that this is indeed the inverse of A. So now you know how to find the inverse of a 3x3 matrix. Thanks for watching.